Fellow Warriors, how's it going? This is Kessen and welcome back to another episode of Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate. Right, we finally got the best girl around, so I couldn't be more happy, honestly. Yeah, the only outfit that she has, it's the one from the, the, the crossover uh, with Wang Yu mm, Nah, perfection already. We don't need that. Um... Yes, I suppose I will go with with this thing. Yeah, why not? Yukimura Kai and Benai, I mean, why not? I don't see the problem. I mean, we could go with Yushitsune because I, I mean, yeah. Why not? Nah, absolutely, I don't agree with the crossover with Lucian, I'm sorry. Nah, really. Mm. Let's go. Uh, I can't up oh, there. <laughs> I really hope the controllers won't uh won't get fucked again. And like like in the last episode, if you guys uh remember, but that was terrible. That was ter very terrible. Like in a, a few episodes ago. So we don't have uh, any um, any special stager going on. Go waiting, Fung. You killed my favorite, Jin Liao. Aha! Uh -huh. Rescue Dungoku, okay. I think uh, it's our way to say Musashi, I suppose. Okay, so let's make the best girl. The best girl? <laughs> uh, oh, level 2 weapon. I think I already bought. I'm not sure. Because I, I did um, start Gauntle mode, but I'm not done anything there yet. Okay, I didn't save the progress on Gantel mode. I didn't. Nah, ignore me. Ignore what I just said. Leave it. Just ignore it. Um. Nah, okay, we can get the three-star weapon. Uh, we can get it on Yushitsune though. The the, the scarab, <laughs> so weird. Right. Um, uh, my uh, whatever. Let's buy it. That's nah, pointless, but okay. Well, Yukimura. Well. Uh. There. Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. First, let's add all the sockets. And then, all the skills back. There we go. Hmm. Still got equipped uh, the level 2. I wish you can equip uh, from uh, the blacksmith the weapons. That would be much easier, you know. Go slay, damn it. Just slay and absorption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Okay. So, Yukimura, it's settled. Lot of taken, no yet. So, we also got, we also obtained the tea house, which will allow us to, to increase bonds with the cards, but I won't really recommend to use it now. Because we don't really have many cards. I mean, let's just hold a party right now. Just 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 a quick one. 
just because why not. But yeah, it's mostly recommended to use the Tea Party when, um, you know, when, when we got like many cartes to make a bond with. Wow, we have unlocked uh, quite a lot of uh, chapters. Well, not chapters, uh, sorry, stages. Uh, we also unlocked chapter two, but it's not the time yet to go on chapter two. First, we need to uh, get uh, new allies. And I will say first uh, to go with a struggle uh, for Weta Castle. Space time has been warped and control, um, control Weta Castle lost. Take back the battle point, near to oppose the Hydra. So. It's a special stage that we have unlocked uh, uh, a few episodes before, so... It's okay if you don't remember. Shibashoto カムヤは再び城の奪還を申し出る。時空を ただ、この地全体からは歪みを感じます。この世界に外側から投じられた石で時の大河が波立っているかのように。その強い力は上田城の守りを崩した。うーん、ここからじゃわからないね。様子を見ながら城の中に入ってみよっか。俺はそんな
But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing much more damage. Oh, it's because it's a one star. Uh -huh, it's because it's a one star stage. No wonder. I was thinking, why am I doing so much damage? It's a one star stage, okay. <laughs> I'm curious to see how many enemies can, I can kill with a with a naked Kaime. And if I can kill some, who knows? Mm. Oh, I kill like a few, but it's not no level up. Oh, this! I was trying to hit them yellow ones, but apparently they are not enemies. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. I literally thought they were enemies. The the yellow ones. You see, this is the problem. Some, like, in this game, you don't know if the yellow ones are enemies or allies, because they can be both. See, like, I'm getting confused. I'm still, I'm still getting confused, even though I know I'm still getting confused. Wouldn't be easier if they will have, I don't know, another faction color. Like, for example, let's just say purple. Purple if they're, like, a secondary enemy. Yellow if they're um, a secondary ally. Th that will be great, you know, that will make things a little bit more easier, but no. I just don't like how it, it, it can- oh sh even you should soon- I forgot to, to level a boat! <laughs> I'm stupid. I, I know, I, I'm fucking stupid. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna focus on Kaime mostly, I don't care about you should soon, even too. I like- I like playing as you should soon a lot. I, I do like you should soon historically, though. Mostly, I like him historically, you should soon, because- you know what's funny? Uh, Yoshitsune in this game actually rep represent uh, the real life Yoshitsune. Yeah, Yoshitsune was uh, a very, very strong warrior uh, in his era. He was very skilled. Now, uh, yeah, he was a very, a very, very strong warrior. He was absolutely skilled. That's why in the cutscene, uh, wait, what the fuck? Now what? How many yellow enemies there are here? Ah, the thing they start they start to become evil, okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, see, they're not our allies, that's what you, you and just said. And now we need to face them. Ooh. No choice but to use Yukimura right now, I'm afraid. Because I messed up, I forgot to level all my characters. <laughs> So, well, what can I do? But yeah, if you guys remember- Whoa! I keep forgetting you can swim in this game. So, if you remember- Oh my god, how do I get back now? <laughs> if you remember in Warrior Search 2, in the cutscene where uh, you should soon have faces Lubu, in the, in the very first cutscenes the, that, that appears, when you start the Wu story, by the way, can I just say, well, that's one of the best story, the Wu story in Warrior Search 2. It's one of my favorite. Uh, Remember, he, he, he literally faces Lubu uh, and he is on a pair with him. People will be like, what the fuck, how this kid will compare to Lubu? I mean, that was the first reaction that everybody will, ha will have had uh, when, when they started Warrior Sorochi 2. Because they don't know, of course, nobody knew who was Yushitsune. Nobody, uh, like, a new, no fucking idea. So, yeah. It's pretty normal, really. Oh no, Kaguya. Need to say Kaguya. So yeah, they had no idea who Yoshitsune was, and of course they were all... Uh, some of them were near pissed off that they will they will make a match for Lu, because... I mean, even today, even nowadays, people are very defensive over Lubu. Ah, uh, damn it. Sucks that... They're all summoned over his characters, including Shitsune. I mean, of course. I mean, of course, Shitsune is a summoned over his character. It would be nice, really, to make a game, a summon over his game based on Nain and Period. But it, there won't be. There won't be many characters, though. Yeah, look, look at Kaguya, damn it. That's the problem. There will not be many characters uh, playable besides uh, Yoshitsune, Benkei, and a few of uh, Yoshitsune's rivals. Especially those who betrayed me. Like, Yoshitsune unfortunately died. Uh, 
because it, got, it was backstabbed. It was backstabbed by by his allies, and he was forced to to exile because they were jealous of Yoshitsune's accomplishment. How he was uh, because Yoshitsune was uh, the strong Tyra. Uh, it was basically like owning them. You guys know already that Yoshitsune had a had a long war with Taira, but not 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 Yoshitsune like uh, the Minamoto clan and the Taira were long time rivals. So not, he didn't start with Yoshitsune. It was something that was already going on before Yoshitsune was born. And yeah, then when Shitsune came to power. When he defeated Kyomori, because that he did defeat Kyomori in the end, Yoshitsune, he wrecked the Tyra, like, badly, because Yoshitsune was a very skilled uh, warrior, like I mentioned before. He didn't, uh, after, after he got destroyed, uh, after he destroyed the Tyra, he was betrayed by, by one of his allies. Fujiwara, I think he was his name. Now, I don't know many details about the Enan period, especially Yoshitsune's. Uh, but I do, but I read a few things about it, and also from um, from the DLC of Neo 2, especially that I managed to learn a few things because Neo 2 got a DLCs where uh, where it teleports you in the Hayden period during Yoshitsune, and you hate Yoshitsune in his task to to defeat the Tyra. It's mostly actually it's mostly about Yoshitsune's fall. That DLC. It shows you should soon as downfall, mostly, than his success. Also, you, uh, there's also a game called Genji, which I'm sure you guys are aware of that game, Genji. I even own the, the original game of Genji for the PS2, and also the sequel. Yeah, it's a very good game, honestly. It's really good. I, I recommend you guys to play it. If you enjoy Yonimusha, you will pro you will most likely enjoy Gen Genji because. Uh, it was the I think it was the mm, by the same developers of Onimusha, uh, Genji. So I mean, I think it's a Capcom game. It's not like a, a Capcom game, um, but it has something to do with Onimusha's developers, uh, Genji. So Genji is, is the if you guys want to learn more about Yoshitsune, then Genji is the game that you might want to do you want want to play really, especially because you will be very familiar anyway. Uh, with the uh, Regenji, because Yoshitsune plays the same way um, as he as he does in Warriors Orochi and, and in Neo, because they make Yoshitsune uh, move uh, fast and behave like a Tengu, because there was this legend that Yoshitsune was um, adopted by a Tengu. It's actually it's a legend. It's a it's a folker. Uh, it's a Japanese folker. So, and it brought in in every single game Warriors Orochi. Niho and Genji especially, so as you can see even even yo oh, even here you should soon in Water Search he does look like a tango and moves like one. Like he I uh, just look at the cutscene in in, in Water Search 2 when he faces Lubu. Yeah. Where he stands uh, on a high on a high roof. He does the same in Genji. Like he doesn't really have any problem to to jump uh, in high roof really, and stand uh, on tight ones too. Like he's あの妙な兵たちを操っていたのはあなた。妙なとは心外だ。あの指揮たちは私の留守中、この地を守っていただけの。まさか貴様安倍の生命。親さん。せっかく遠い時空を越えてきたというのに。<笑> I like how the the every Samurai Warriors characters knows about him. 
Well, even uh, they also know about Yushitsune as well, because they're historical characters in the end. They're from different times, uh, Am Aminosebe and uh, Yushitsune. I I'm not sure how how many years of difference they are, these two. Like I said, uh, guys, I, I don't really... I'm not, the, I'm not the, the most expert person to talk about uh, these two figures. I'm interested to learn about them, sure, but... Oh yeah, there's also um, another DLC of Niho. That, uh, that shows Amino Sebe and Yushitsune Ancestor, Yuritsune, which is a female for some reason. So yeah, Amino Sebe is before uh, Yushitsune. It's even before, yeah. <laughs> Not sure how many years, but I know it's before. I like how Neo 2 is DLC, they do cover these two, really. I'm gonna say they ain't shit sooner. It seems like Kuwait is, is truly obsessed with them. Because they, they just want to, you know, give them some time to shine. Because they are very important figures in, in, in the end of the day. I'm gonna say they and uh, the Minamoto. So they don't. They, they say, okay, we cannot make a game about them. We cannot make a Musou game about them because in the end, Samurai Warriors is the one that uh, that needs to shine the most. It's the one that uh, it's our most popular franchise, Samurai Warriors. So we cannot really make another one, another single Musou based on different characters because we don't know if it's gonna be popular. So what I do? They just import them as DLCs or um, as collaborations, like in Warrior Sorochi. See? This is what I did. I mean, theoretically, Amino Sebe, okay, regarding the, the, the thing about the PSP, uh, you guys must know that Amino Sebe in Warrior Sorochi, he was, it was, it's not, it didn't come out in 3 Ultimate, for, for those who know, but I'm sure you guys already know, but for those who don't know, I'm saying it. Uh, it was released uh, in another version of Warrior Sorochi 3 called Warrior Sorochi, actually, well, with the original name, uh, Muso Orochi 2 Special. Warrior Sorochi 3 Special. It, it was uh, for the PSP. It basically included, it was basically Warrior Sorochi for the PSP, but it included uh, Amino Sebe and another character, Rachel, from uh, uh, Ninja Gaiden. So yeah. It included uh, these two characters, Amino Sebe and Rachel, in the in the PSP version of Water Sorochi. So yeah, uh, Amino Sebe, it's an, it was uh, made for... It was released on the PSP version of Water Sorochi first, with Rachel. So yeah, this is why it will uh, it will feel cool to play this stage on the PSP because that that's uh, how it was released. Uh, I'm gonna say as a PSP character. <laughs> God, when Yali and when she was are going to be playable, man? Like, come on. It's interesting, really, how they had uh, the Amino Sebe. I feel like Koei couldn't wait to to have this guy because they they, they do feel like he is a very historical figure uh, for ja especially in Japanese folklore. You know how there was legend and he was um, that his mother was a fox and how he was um, like a very skilled omnioji. So, Ooh. might as well level up Yushit soon as well. Why not? Because I do want to use him in the end. Yeah, him being a speed is a speed carter, right? Yeah, Jesus. I got all speed cards, just realized. <laughs> Jesus. You should soon ask to be a speed carter. I think it's a technique card in Water Sorochi 2. I'm not sure. Don't remember. 
Actually, no, no, I think he's speed. I think. Can't remember. But yeah, you should sort of should be a speed character. If it's something else, then what the fuck are you doing, Koei? Yoshitsune has to be a speed character. There's no other way that Yoshitsune is like a power or technique. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Speed is the correct element. Well, the correct affinity, whatever you want to call it. Yep, I defeated Yanni and Wenchu. <laughs> Any chance I can unlock Yonsha after this? <laughs> Look at that, I sort of wanna play as Yonsha. Cause why the fuck not? There we go. Oh, cart is dead. But yeah, maybe I should just... I should swap um, one of my teammates. Cause I don't want all speed cards, it's weird. That we need all speed. I mean, I don't mind, but I want some variety. But I'm not getting rid of Kai. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know why you came with a speed carter, honestly. Like, you came with being a speed carter, I'm not sure how how that makes sense. It was fine as a te te technique character. Why yet they had to make him speed? I don't know why some characters uh, affinities uh, they have been. Um, I'm sure they call affinities types. They're types. They call them types. Not sure why some characters types were changed. Mm, I don't know. They're, it's weird. Why they, they can't keep them the same? I mean, some of them are needed to be changed. Like Kunoichi being a power character. Probably because they wanted to make uh, like a ninja being a power card. There were too many ninjas being speed, I suppose, like Kotaro and Nene. I mean, Anzo was technique. Still, it's best if they, if they, if they kept them the same. の私の感覚ではね。だが龍脈の力を借りても元の世界との架け橋はできないようだ。なのでしばらくこちらにお邪魔するよ。綾かしを倒すならば私の力も役立つはずだ。オッケー。We okay. got Amino Saber. Um Okay, we seems like we also two crystals we got. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, grow points. Yeah, yeah, nice. We got a few grow points. That's good. Protective fox. Now I even got the <laughs> his upgraded card. I wonder, I wonder how you get these, by the way, these cards. If there's like a condition, you just get them randomly. I don't know. Okay, oh, Shin Shang and Kunoichi. Come with me, bitch. It, there's me. I, 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 she, she can have me. Like, hey, all day, every day, 24-7. Man, I need also to, to use Shen Sheng here because she's like probably one of my very favorite Wu characters. 
my very favorite Vukata is Shenxiang. So yeah, we got this uh, this outfits uh, here. I love this one. The Strike Force outfit is perfection as well. Oh my god, I wanna cry. Per best outfit ever. Also, you know, I love the Nasty Wars 7 outfit of Shenxiang. I think it's beautiful. It's fucking stunning, but I'm going for a Strike Force one for now. She's a technique card. Okay, see, so yes, at least we are not um, using a another type. Mm -hmm. Grow points. Oh, my Kaime actually got a good a good level. Nice, but. Bring into 25 or something. Okay, I think it's it <laughs> might as well. <laughs> right, it should do for now, hopefully. But Kai and Shen Sheng are the one who needs more level up. Let's see if we got any stage around. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, level 3? No level 3, but... Honda. Oh, I want, I want this weapon. Let's go slay, let's go. Mmm... Mmm... -hmm. Destruction, nice. Okay. We should be fine, I think. Mm. I, I'm just trying to farm. I see Providence is good because... Um, see, item box cushion appears up in the enemy off, so yeah, we definitely need Providence. Yeah, I do want... Uh, courage as well. Courage is very good. Providence, my Providence is good. Gems, definitely. Okay, good. We need to, like, get skills that allow us to farm, mostly. Hmm. Okay. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's go for next bell. But first, I read it. Thought we can't win. See if she got anything interesting to say. <laughs> I know. She, honestly, Shen Shang, she's just perfect. No, honestly, whoever tells her that uh, is a fucking piece of shit. She's just perfect the way she is. Yojutsu おだわら城で仲間になった孫昌光が術にかかったばかりの練士と遭遇していたのである。その時孫昌光は練士との対決を避け逃げてしまっていた。もしあの時練士と正面からぶつかっていたら、後悔は先に立たない。過ちを正す
So, honestly, Xin Sheng is just perfect the way she is because she's the daughter of of a of a very strong general, even to a bit stupid. Still, she's not really like her. She's not stupid as her, her father. Thank God for that. She got many qualities. Like, come on. Oh, I love this song. I really like this song a lot. Escape from Hell, I think it's called. I mean... Oh, I love those chakrams. Hey, give me yours. Uji Naganarita, that's Kai's dad. Can I have your daughter? <laughs> I mean... She she really has a, a very strong personality, honestly. She does what she has to. Even to first she refused to marry Liu Bei. Then she changed her mind because she knew uh, what was at stake at the time. Then uh, she, she ended up falling in love with Liu Bei. And she valued what was most important, which was uh, her mother. Because as soon as she heard that her mother was uh, was ill, even to that was just a plot to bring her back. She she had, she didn't hesitate to uh, to leave because she just, she knows what's important. See, like she's a loyal daughter. Xin Sheng had the qualities uh, that not many women had during that time. Let, let's be real. You see, many women during that time they were all loyal to their husband. They would do whatever they were told uh, and everything. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say just kind of annoying because we need to save people. Oh, I forgot how annoying now. Nah. We can't use Xin Shang for now. We I just remember the stage is annoying because we need to save uh, ev everybody. See, like, every woman during that time, they were all, like, following their husband's orders, do everything they, they were asked to, even killing themselves. But no, Shen Shen was not like that. Shen Shen was very independent. She was a very strong-willed, independent woman. And she was the one who, who dare even... She even pissed off a Liu Bei many times. She didn't give a shit. This is, this is why I like Shen Shen. Like, she did not give a fuck. Because... She knew, like, Xing Xing knew that if you bet there to treat her bad, like, he will ruin the, the, his, his relation with Wu, and Wu will even, like, uh, add excuse to wage war as well <laughs> to get back to Xing, Xing province. This is why Xing Sheng dared to, uh, to be like that with Yu Bei, because Xing Sheng knew that Jing province uh, uh, was bored by Wu. So she didn't give a shit, really, uh, with the, the way she spoke, the way she behaved. She was awesome. And she was very loyal. She was loyal to her mother. So... You don't see a female character like Shen Shen, who also, she was also very skilled in martial arts, because she knew that during that time... Uh, during that time, it was necessary to, to be stronger. Uh, as well uh, with martial arts, so. But then, uh, what happened? <laughs> what happened uh, after? After Liu Bei went to war uh, with Sun Quan, we all know that Shen Shang uh, decided to take her own life because uh, of what happened. The Liu Bei. Uh, started to start to wage war against uh, Sun Chu and her brother. The reason was that in the end uh, she caught feelings for Liu Bei. She caught feelings for Liu Bei. I mean, she couldn't escape uh, the curse of love because in the end it showed that Sheng Sheng was human. It showed that she was a human being. Unfortunately, that like all of us, we cannot escape our feelings. So, it proves that behind that uh, the strong-willed woman, the high spirit, uh, a fragile heart was hiding. See, Shen Sheng all this time was hiding. Uh, be, the, the, the reason why she behaved like that was just to hide her fragile heart. Then in the end, uh, she was very sensitive. She just tried to, to, her best to hide it, and she did well. Because in the end, uh, 
She fell in love with Liu Bei. She's seen that her beloved uh, fought for the dead battle against uh, Sun Chu. Because as soon as the news of Liu Bei's death arrived, she took her life. Because she couldn't bear it to be left on her own. Because in the end, she left Liu Bei, but she she fell in love. So she probably uh, lived uh, after leaving. Uh, to go to her mother. She sort of regretted more probably to have to have left. Because she fell in love with Yu Bei. And then after, and, and she probably just couldn't wait for for she probably was just waiting for a chance to be reunited with Yu Bei. She was probably thinking, okay, maybe things will probably get better. Maybe one day I'll I'll go back to Yu Bei. Mm. So for now I need to endure it. I need to take care of my mom and I need to endure it for the time being. While Shen Shen was waiting, the news broke out that Liu Bei wage war against Sun Quan. And there that's where all the hopes were broke for her. And that's where she started to be depressed. Because it, because uh Shen Shen started to be depressed uh, uh, after Liu Bei wage war against Sun Quan. No way Liu Bei died. Shang Shang was already growing depressed when uh, Liu Bei invaded Wu. Because of that reason, because she she realized that every hope to reunite with Liu Bei was lost. So that's how she got depressed. Because Shang Shang was waiting, waiting, and waiting. See, this is why I like Shang Shang because in the end, in the end, she was also loyal to her husband, not just her mother. So. She showed to be a true, a true woman, a true human being. She showed that fe the feelings uh, were also important to her. The feelings for Liu Bei also took her, took the, the best of her. This is why I love Shen Shang. Because this, because really, no, just because oh, she's strong. Uh, she look, she's a, she's a warrior, she's a warrior princess. Okay, not just because of that. She, oh, she's the daughter of the tiger. Blah blah blah. No. Because of the, all those reasons too. Because she's probably the only true woman of the three kingdoms, Xing Shang. The only proper woman, I mean. Then we, we got we got female characters like Zenji who literally they like uh, they they do whatever they, they need to do for their husband. And like Zenji, Zenji literally killed herself. Because Sao Pi Sort of Tsapi told her to. Tsapi didn't give a shit that, that Zenji killed herself. So Zenji was co totally committed to to Tsapi all her life. Well, not all her life. I mean, until she got stolen by Tsao Tsao. So. Because Tsao Tsao stole Zenji and then gave, uh, gave her to Tsapi. So yeah, this is why I really cannot stand some female characters in the game. Or Bao San Yang. Oh, let's not talk about let's, I don't even want to talk about Bao San Yang. I really don't want to talk about her. I don't want to talk about Bao San Yang at all. This is why I think Shen Sheng is the be is the best female card of Dynasty Warriors. Sure, the action is my favorite, but in the end, uh, the action is still uh, a, very, a very fictional character, and she was a witch in the end. So, I mean, she she, she was basically the example of many women nowadays, abusers mostly. Or those who, who, who break uh, the man's feelings and they don't give a shit. I'm not saying that it's only the, 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 the woman, of course, even there's a lot of men uh, who are like that too. So, don't get me wrong. No sex me, sex in me here. Because also, there's mostly men who are like that as well. But there are also women who are like that too, unfortunately. 
So it's boat. It's boat in the end. So there we go. No, that will one shot me probably. So easy to come with this game, honestly. Captured. <laughs> Best girl, Shinsheng. さあ、これからは一緒に行きましょう。レシ、ご心配なさらず姫様。私を信じてください。流しの出皆様と戦う未来があるならば、その時にお味方すると約束しましょう。それでは未来にて。Okay, so the path to to get Yanshi is open. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, we, we got some skill, some good skills on on these weapons. Right, prophecy increased more easily. I hmm, should probably use the mystic break, the mystic sprays actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, we also got a chimera shell, increasing defense. Nice, we got the uh, the best card. Hmm. Oh, Kaguchin! <laughs> Kaguchin! あの、カイ様、お尋ねいたしたいことが。カイ様とか、まつけはやめてよ、水草。で、何何何かな、カグチン。あ、はい。カグチン。All <laughs> right. So we open a path to unlock Lianchi and I guess this is everything for now. On the next episode, we will definitely uh, obtain Lianxi. Right, and we'll see you guys soon to the next episode. As always, thanks again for following me this far. Like, subscribe, comment. I will really, really appreciate it. And hopefully, if you guys are really enjoying my content, you can consider becoming a member of my channel to support me even more. Uh, if you want to become a member, you can do that anytime. You can cancel anytime. Coffee time if you want to watch video previews, Muso member and Ultra member if you want to watch exclusive Let's Play. Um, there's a there's a bunch of content that you guys can watch honestly. So as a as a as a Muso member, there will be so many unique Let's Plays. So there's a lot of stuff. Maybe consider becoming a member. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.